Good morning. I want to have a documentary about the man I know, Pete Turndo. You might know him in a couple movies, but his hit one, Attack of the Gorillas, which came out in 1951. Over there, a gorilla. Pink Turndo did star in Attack of the Gorillas, which was the number one movie for 30 years. It sold not one million copies, but two million copies, which made Pete Turndle rich. But Pete Turndle wasn't rich all the time. Unfortunately, he lived in a small cabin in Taylor, Tucky, Michigan. He lived with his dad, John Goldfinger, who was a mean, strict man who made him do work and work. And he didn't have an education. But one day, at the age of 18, Pete Turndo decided to move. He was moving out to California. He was going to become an actor. But first, ever, since every actor, the actor started a low point of his life. His low point was an elephant cleaner at a circus. But one day, Pete Turndo was going to make it big. As a part-time elephant cleaner, Pete turned out wanted to perform an actor. And there was a movie in town. It was Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Now, Pete turned out thought about this very briefly. And he said, I'm going to be the next Luke Skywalker. So, he went there and he performed. Here is his acting tape from 1973 Attack of the Clones. Pete Turndo. Yeah. You're up. Okay. Attack of the Clones. Take one. I'm sorry that I failed you. Now, will you please tell me that you love me? Brenda. Now, please take my heart and I will give you my too. And I know of a place. In a place, and I know of a place where you love me. Know that I will love you. It's a little dramatic, there, Pete. It's a little dramatic. Pete! Can I do good? Well, I'm lost at words right now. Alright. Uh, try, just, I don't know. We'll get back to you, alright? Pete Turner. Now, when he went out for the Attack of the Clones, he had high hopes that he was going to be an actor. But as you see in an acting tape, he wasn't just cut out for Attack of the Clones. Now, the director, Burgo, that's what his name, he kicked him out of the studio. So Pete Turno went to this very bar, and he drank every day. He became broke. But one day, there was an opportunity to be in a new movie. It's called Moose Jaw. Now, this ain't the actual moose, but it's Moose Jaw. There was acting. Now I'm going to show you the tape that wowsed everybody. We'll take one of Moose Jaw. I want a moose for my birthday like my friend Sally. Started in Moose Jaw, which was a story of an autistic boy who wanted a moose. 
fourth birthday. Now, for that, he was not just a guy. He won the Golden Ball Award, which was worth one point million dollars. Now he lived and he bought this place, and it was called Tom's Man Cave. Now Pete turned around. I don't know, he was weird, he liked to name it like that. But as you can see around me, a lot of beers. He was a part of you. Now I got a video show about his partying lifestyle at the man cave. Take a look. He turned on the house! Pete, what are you doing? Woo! You, you got what I need. What you say he's just a friend. You say he's just a friend. Pete Turner became rich again when he decided to sell his own beer company. But it only lasted a couple of weeks. So he decided to go back to his dream of acting. Now Pete Turner said to star in a new role in a new movie called The Snow is Deep. This, I'm going to show you a movie clip from The Snow is Deep, 1992. The snow, it be too deep for I shall live on as I weep for the snow is too deep I cannot go on the snow is too deep so I can't move my lawn <laughs>